Welcome to PA Cave Crawl, where each week we feature the coolest fan caves around the state of Pennsylvania. I'm your host, Sam Wilson, and this week we are in Hatfield, PA to visit Mark Kaiser and see his Philly-themed fan cave. Mark, I'm Sam, and we heard you have an awesome fan cave, and we want to check it out. Sure, come on in. There's a lot going on here, Mark, so I want you to walk us around and break it down for us. Well, let's start at the bar area. So this wall over here, I call it my World Series wall. So this is everything from a couple of things from the 1980 World Series champions, and obviously mostly from the, uh, from the OE team. Wow, that's incredible. So where do you get all your pictures from? Do you go immediately looking for certain things, or? A lot of times after they win this, when they win the championship, there's stuff everywhere online. Um, there's a local artist who does this, and it's called Word Art. So okay, this yes. is uh, Brad, I see Brad Lidge when he, mm -hmm. when he went perfect. So this is all of our wins and losses from the World Series and um, so yeah, World Series champions. And he uses the words and the stats to make the picture. That is so incredible. The bar area. I absolutely love it. Can you kind of break it down? What's it look like? I know you're a season ticket holder, so you mm -hmm. probably, when it's a home game, you're not here. But for away games, can you break down the scene, like what it looks like in this room? Absolutely. Usually we have, you know, people packed in here watching the games. Um, I'm actually, I'm, I am actually usually here. I'm the one tending bar. Um, <laughs> but even though we're kind of tucked back in the corner here, I can still peek around and see the, uh, the flat screen TV with the game going on, you know, hanging out with friends, serving drinks. I love it. Okay. Now on to the next favorite part. Sure. So, you know, I, the whole room ties together. So I have a sort of a man crush from Jim Tomey. So when we had- Good. Oh, that's a great man to have a man <laughs> crush on. So when my uh, painter was painting this, he built this shadow box here. So it actually pops out from the wall. Okay. So this is all my Jim Tomey stuff right here. Now so right after the Eagles won the Super Bowl, which was, of course, everyone went nuts. Um, and again, on one of those groups on Facebook, they said there was a guy who uh, owns a collecting company, um, you know, a shop, what I think it was up in Northeast Philly. And he put out, say, you know, pre-orders for full sets of bobbleheads for the Super Bowl team. So I'm like, I don't know if I'll get another Super Bowl championship in my life. So I figure I might as well try it. I might as well go for it. So this is an entire set of bobbleheads. I have some of the bench players on the side. The uh, defense is kind of right here, and the offense is sit back there. That um, is so incredible. I love how Swoop's in the center. That's right. And then we have I have two of Nick Foles, one regular one, and then one of him with the MVP. Oh, awesome. Wow. So we have the mini helmets here for baseball, and actually they're the current standings. So we have the NL East, NL Central, NL West, and then the AL East Central and the AL West. And then this is the, um, obviously a baseball holder called the 40 Baseball. So this is the order of the stadiums I've been into, been to so far. You know, obviously starting with Veterans Stadium when I was a kid, uh, up until uh, St. Louis was the last stadium I've been to. And actually the Ron Hextall one, I actually got that at a Flyers game when I was probably 12 years old. I put it in an envelope and sent it to the Flyers asking for an autograph because that's what you had to do back in those days and he's the only one that sent it back. Wow, so the things in this room, it's not like you just started collecting. You've had all this. So ever, ever since I was a kid, yeah, I, I started. So that's probably one of my older ones. That's my oldest Flyers one, guarantee. Uh, my oldest Sixers one, going on to the Sixers wall here, is this piece right in the middle, all the Sixers greats. Oh, you can tell that's an older that's one. That's an older one. Yeah. My next door neighbor gave that to me when I was a kid. Now, what are some of these little knickknacks down here? So a lot of this stuff, all this stuff is from the Super Bowl, for the most part. Um, I also run a golf outing, so sometimes some stuff will come across and I'll put my ticket in and I end up winning. So that was <laughs> the Ron Jaworski ball. Okay. Um, I won that. Uh, this one's a combined, I think it's Fletcher, Cox, and I don't remember who the other autograph one is. Um, but then Kelsey obviously giving his speech. Mm -hmm. so I got the bobblehead and the picture of Kelsey giving the Love Super Bowl it. speech. The uh, Philly Philly play from, you know, from Nick Foles catching that mm -hmm. touchdown. Zach Ertz diving over the the goal line for his touchdown. Um, most of the team autographed helmet on the Super Bowl helmet there. Wow. And then the book, uh, the, the Eagles book, how you know, the Eagles finally won their Super Bowl. How do you even come across a Super Bowl helmet? Um, that's a buddy of mine who does a lot of collecting, um, was starting to kind of purge a lot of his stuff. Wow. Um, so yeah, he, they, they kind of say, hey, come take a look at the stuff, see what you want, and, you know, 
costs money, but you know. I was gonna say, a little so passion of mine. Out of everything in this room, you don't have to give us an exact number, and if you're shy, you don't have to tell us. How much do you think you invested into this? In the thousands, uh, maybe ten thousand at the most oh, wow. over the past years. That's incredible, and so many memories. So yeah. it's worth it too. I probably really hardcore started collecting about twenty some years ago. That's awesome. Mark, thank you so much for taking the time to show us all these incredible things you have in your fan cave. And because you did so, we're gonna give you a free $500 site credit to the Park Sportsbook app. And then you'll also be entered for the grand prize later down the season where fans will vote for the greatest fan cave in PA. So, are you ready for that? Mm-hmm, can't we, wait. The grand prize is gonna be so big we don't even have it yet. <laughs> I'm, I like the $500, that's great. I know, it's perfect. Thank you so much for checking out this fan cave with me. We'll be back next week to continue our cave crawl around PA.